Hello, I'm Billy Bob Flywalker, and this is my story how I got involved with the most notorious bootlegger in Second Life. I've been making shine in the hill since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. I looked to expand in my business further north, and that's when I met the hamster. Instead of starting a turf war over the shine territories, I decided to go to work for the hamster and funnel all my sales through her distribution network. My first day on the job proved to be very exciting. Hamster was driving me down Route 8, showing me her main manufacturing facilities and going over the details of the delivering routes. Now this truck is really kick-ass, Billy. We had the engine modified by an Indy racing team. You should be able to outrun any law enforcement who might happen to want to check what you're hauling. If you get stopped and arrested, don't worry, I have an army of attorneys working for me and we'll have you out before they get done processing you. Just don't give them any information about our operations here. Now, Billy, we're heading up to my new manufacturing facility. It's capable of producing 400 barrels of shine a week. And since we don't have to age it, that's instant money in our pockets. This is a state-of-the-art facility with the latest computerized stills. I hired an electrical firm called Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe to do all the installation and wiring, so we should be good to go. They did drink a little shine while they was hooking things up, but that should just make it all the better. As we pulled up on the hamster's manufacturing facility, we were both shocked by a sight neither one of us was expecting to see. Damn, hamster, the whole place is on fire. Well, apparently, the electricians from Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe drank a little too much shine while they was wiring the place. Fire started in the electrical box, caught some grain sacks on fire, then quickly spread to the flammable contents of the stills. Okay, Billy, all of our money's inside in the safe. I gotta run in and get it. We don't want to lose that. We're gonna need it to put this place back in working order. we better do that. We call the fire department, they see what's going on here, they're going to call the law enforcement authorities, and then we're going to be in deep shit. I got a contingency plan. I got a fire truck hid down the road in a barn for just such emergencies. You wait here, I'll run down and get it. sure was good work there hamster getting that fire out man you risked your life for the shine that's for sure don't worry billy we'll be back in production in no time first thing i'll do is call mo over at dewey cheatham and how electrical 
and get his crew back out here to fix their screw up. You call your boys down the hills and tell them to ramp up production until we get back online. We're still making big bucks, Billy. How was that for your first day on the job? <laughs> well, Hamster, I tell you, it sure was exciting. If that was just the first day, I'm a little bit nervous about what tomorrow might be. Well, folks, that's what happened on my first day working for the hamster. Sure wasn't what I was expecting, but hell, the pay's good, so what the heck. Thanks for watching, folks, and stay tuned for episode two of SL Shiners, coming real soon. <laughs>